how do you know what inappropriate target airway pressure is? I'm supposed to make sure the peak inspiratory pressure is less than 35, right? That's part of it, but there is a lot more to the story than that. Mm, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more of an explanation then. All right, here we go. So this is our peak pressure here, right? That is the maximum amount of pressure that happens during inspiration. Yes, you are absolutely correct. We wanna keep it below 35 to 40 centimeters of water because that can introduce some barotrauma, trauma from too much pressure, and that can hurt our little baby alveoli. But we also, want to keep our plateau pressure down. We also want to keep that under 30 centimeters of water in order to protect the alveoli. Now, we're also looking at using the minimum amount of driving pressure needed in order to protect the lungs throughout the respiratory cycle. So driving pressure is actually our plateau pressure minus our peak. And we want to keep our driving pressure down to less than 15 centimeters of water to avoid doing any unnecessary over distension or pressure on the alveoli throughout the respiratory cycle as well, not just a snapshot moment in time when we hit our peak. Definitely did not learn anything about that as a nurse or in nursing school. We just trusted our respiratory therapist to handle all of it. Shout out to you guys. Where can I learn more about respiratory physiology? I got you covered. The Confident Care Academy app has an in-depth lecture series on respiratory physiology. I encourage you to start with the Intro to Respiratory Physiology lecture. It is CE approved. You can get your manager to give you money to pay you back for it. It is a no-brainer. It's gonna give you everything you need to know. We'll see you there.